Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Dad from Me 77 and I am back with another video. I'd like to say welcome back to all of my subscribers. To those of you that are new, welcome. To those of you that have viewed my channel before and you have not yet joined the party, come on. What are y'all waiting for? Come on. So before I begin this video, I would like to say that my voice is going to creep, crackle, and at some point give out. My allergies are killing me. I feel a lot better than what I sound. I just need some sleep to sleep off this allergy medicine. But aside from that, your girl is good. Um, everything's good. But I just wanted to say that because I know once I had... Did a video i wasn't feeling really good and someone was like are you sick i suffer from allergies really really bad and this year the pollen came down like snow <laughs> i mean it is like snow in north carolina and the other thing i know everybody always says like the rain makes it better it does but it seems like it just makes it stick on surfaces surfaces that we touch frequently like your car handle the mailbox your front door so all the things that we have to touch on a daily basis seems like all the pollen is sticking to that but anyway look at this beautiful box <laughs> i know y'all like that's what ain't nothing beautiful about a box it is so this is a new bag as you can tell from the title that i got from fashion file um this is a re-unboxing because one of my her sisters i'm not gonna say no names but she couldn't wait for me to open it on my channel so we opened it together but i had to show you guys as well so i don't know if you guys have been following me long enough to know I have fallen in love with Fashion Bob. And I'm going to tell you why. I think here lately the trend are like smaller bags. And I love a small bag. Don't get me wrong. But I also want that bag to be functional. And so what I am finding is that the bags that I really, really enjoy tend to be older bags, especially when I, it talks about, when we're talking about Louis Vuitton, which is what this bag is. I love the older Louis Vuitton bags. I just think the shoulder drop is different. Um, I love a cute top handle bag. I do. But there is nothing like throwing that bag on your shoulder. Like, we are women that have careers and children and husbands and girlfriends and businesses. Mm -hmm. We're entrepreneurs. We are so many things. And we are not... We are not the traditional... I'm just good. Some of us are. Most of us nowadays, we have multi a multitude of things going on. And so we can't just sit and walk around real cute with top handle bags. It it's time to go. We got to go. And when it's time to move, we got to move. Hold on for one. All right. Sorry about that. Every I rescheduled the restart on my computer. But you know, of course, every time you start a video or something, you're going to get there and get a phone call. The people outside are going to be drag racing their cars or the mailman is going to ring the doorbell or just life. But anyway, so I love, I love to carry my bags on my shoulder. I love bags that I can add to all day long. And I love bags that are easy, meaning I can look at my bag and I can see what's in there. I don't like searching for items in my bag. So I know y'all like, Dazzle, come on, just show us what this bag is. So up until I started on, y'all can see it's already done my event. Up until I started looking at Fashion File, I wasn't really aware of a lot of these bags. 
But now that I am, it is just so nice. I will say Dame Yiping is my favorite print. And I think it's because of the Vaquetta leather on the monogram. I love the monogram print and I'm hoping one day, y'all look at that beautiful bag. I am hoping one day to secure a monogram print bag with black um, leather. I'm hoping that. So this beauty right here, of course you have the certificate of authenticity. Once you cut this, this bag is yours. This bag is the Dame Eben Rivington GM. So she is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna show you her. She is listed in excellent condition. So sorry to my purse sister. I told her very good at first, but she, this bag is listed in excellent condition. This is a GM size bag. She is being compared to the City, the C I T E bag in a lot of videos. If you look at the tag on the side, it has the Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. You see the corners look really good on this bag. And you see this. And I love that little buckling right there. I know some people get concerned about that because of the creasing. The stitching still looks good. And another thing I like is that it's still it's double zippers. It has Louis Vuitton. So let me tell you a little bit about this bag as I go into it. This bag was listed as um, excellent on the um, website. It is 11 and a half inches long. Let me put the camera down a little bit. It is 11 and a half inches long. It is nine inches tall. And the width is six, okay? So she does have that scratch right there. Am I tripping over it? No, my Graceful has a lot of those. I wish this bag did has did have feet. She doesn't, but it's not a deal breaker for me because look at that mouth. Oh my God, this bag opens so wide. So we're gonna take that out. I will be, I got so many bags that I need to wear. I think, I know y'all going to laugh at me when I say this, but I have been looking for a Dame Eben bag that I can wear as a shoulder bag. I do have my Speedy, but for some reason, even though it has the bandolier, I still prefer to carry my Speedy top handle. And I wanted a strictly shoulder bag. Now, if you look at the bottom, there is a spot down there. I don't even think I'm going to mess with it. But the bag is relatively very clean on the inside. This bag has a pocket. And you see here, this does not have a zipper to it. But this is what it looks like. It's not sticky on the inside at all. It's not sticky on the inside at all. And the date code for this bag is way down here at the bottom. And I hate to do this to this bag, but I am learning how to read date codes. And I know you're like, why are you learning how to read date codes if they are microchipping bags? Well, I am learning about date codes because I am into the older bags. Let me see if I can see it from here. I should have had my little pin light or my light. I will um, tell you guys about it later. But you see, this bag has a lot of structure. I love that it has the flexible hardware. Um, she's going to be really nice. And the shoulder drop on this bag is 11 inches. So I know y'all are going to be like, Dazzle, didn't you just buy a speedy last year i did but like i said i prefer to wear my speedy top handle and i wanted to show you guys the differences in this bag so they are very close um the rivington gm which is this one the height on this one which is crazy it says the height on this one is nine inches but the height on this one is eight and three quarter inches. 
The width on the Speedy 30 is 6.7. And it says the width on this is 6. Let's see if we can tell the difference. Oh, yeah. You can tell the difference. And, you know, everybody says the leathers feel different from the older Louis Vuittons to this one. This one is listed from 2011. Um, They feel relatively the same to me, but I don't know. The other difference in this is that the Speedy 30 is 11.8 inches long, and this one is 11.5. Um, I don't really think y'all gonna be able to tell that on the camera. We can try, but I do have this bag stuff, my Speedy stuff. Um, let's see if y'all can see. Let's see. So it says, I can see it now. The Rivington is 11.5 and the Speedy is 11.8. I just think these, they must be measuring from seam to seam on this because this Rivington looks taller than this. But at the same time, they said the Speedy is 8.3 in height and this is nine but this looks totally taller than here so i would have to pull out my tape measures i don't want to bore you guys with this video but i just wanted to share with y'all my new darling and to let y'all know y'all will be seeing her soon this is the rivington and the dame Eben print okay so yeah the Speedy 30 in height, it says 8.3. But I think they're going by before it peaks right there. Because this is reading 9. They're saying this is 9. Which would be right there. And it is. So I guess it just really depends. I really think they're both going to kind of carry the same thing. But the Speedy 30 does look bigger when you're looking at it right here. I'm so excited about this beautiful bag, and I hope you guys enjoy. So, before we go any further, I'm going to see if this shows up. I was going to post just a little, um, what was I going to say? Just post it in a picture, but I think you'll see it better here. So, when I talk about date code, this is what I'm talking about. A lot of you probably already know, but some of us, and I say us because that includes me, you're new to reading date codes. Now, like my Speedy 30, it is microchip, so I don't have to worry about this. That bag was 2011, so I would fall here. The first two letters is the factory location. The second, first number and the third number is the week the bag was made. The second number and the fourth number is the year that it was made. Okay, so this would be the factory. It was made the 20th week of 2015. So 20th week puts it about in the fifth month, so that's May. So May of 15. I'll have to look and see. And then the factory location, let me see. They have all these listed, and so you can kind of tell which factory it is in. I'm probably going to get put mine up here once I figure it out, and then you guys can look at it. And you see it has the difference with bag charms, key holders, and jewelry, scarves, shoes. So it's a lot of different things on here. The other thing that I noticed, too, is that how you will know which date code to use is because in the 90s to 2006, it said the bag the month was made. So that would kind of help you out. Although if the week the bag was made was the first week of 2015, you might get confused here. So I guess it would be good to know when the bag was made. But that's all. I just wanted to share a little bit of knowledge 
Um, you guys that have purchased from other sellers, secondhand sellers, please drop in the comments which is your favorite. I have been partial to Fashion File. Um, I feel comfortable with them. I have, I did do the second certificate of authenticity on this bag and it is authentic. You know, you hear all types of things about bags not being authentic and all that good stuff. Um, I hope that doesn't happen to anyone. I've also heard about people buying bags off of eBay. I just don't feel comfortable yet. I'm not going to say not ever because there are some older bags that I have my eyes on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment below. If you have any comments or questions about the bag, please leave it below. And remember, be good to others, but be even better to yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.